she has the lead as one of the home country favorites is about to go. Number 10, representing Japan, Satoko Miyahara. So on the ice right now, the defending champ. And again, a Japanese lady has won four of the last five Grand Prix Japan. She is also the two-time and reigning Japanese national champion. Satoko Miyahara currently in third place. She was a little more than seven points off the lead after the short program. And she won a bronze medal at Skate Canada. Most likely would need to make it to the podium to make it to the Grand Prix final. Uncharacteristic mistakes in the short program from Satoko. She said she was very disappointed. She's the one we usually bet on when it comes to consistency. But with that said, she is notorious in some ways for under-rotating her jumps. Not to sound like a broken record, but it's a common problem. Judges will look closely here. The triple let's triple toe loop. A bit close on the landing of the triple toe loop. Johnny, with certain skaters, it's almost automatic because you gain a reputation that they're going to take another look. Definitely, and that's a really unfortunate thing to have happen to you. But if you consistently do that when you're nervous, and it's not something skaters train for. It's just when you get nervous and you get tight, sometimes you come down a bit short. You don't jump as high as usual. about those under rotations though, Terrence, is that the skaters know and can feel exactly when something's off in the jump. If you land that jump and you aren't fully rotated, you know it. So then it's all about faking it until you make it <laughs> smiling like it didn't happen. <laughs> She didn't get any credit for her step sequence, so hopefully she's keeping that in mind today and getting full coverage across the ice to get that level that she needs. I do love her skating. She has such a nice, light, airy quality to her artistry. Very delicate. Triple lutz, double toe, double loop. The thing is, is you can't be delicate when it comes to the jumps. And I think she struggles getting the height she needs to get that rotation in. Sometimes the, the ice is like a springboard. So when you hit it in opposition to the ice, it almost gives you this lift into the air and she doesn't get that. It's more like dead weight.
technically some issues with those under rotations, but overall she is my favorite to watch. She has these classic, beautiful lines, and she really sells her skating. See, I think today was Pagarila's day for sure, even on the artistic side of things. Satoko fought for this free program. She fought to make it to the Grand Prix final and definitely is right there. Knows the building very well and the event. Is it enough to catch that young woman? Anna Pogorelia dealing with the media and sitting atop the leaderboard. And we'll be back with more from Grand Prix Japan, presented by Toyota. Let's go places. Third place after the short program. We'll see how close it is to Toko Miyahara. This was Satoko's triple Lutz, triple toe loop. She missed this in the short program, very under-rotated the triple Lutz and fell. But here, a nice triple Lutz followed by a very under-rotated triple toe loop. And watch the takeoff. She just gets no lift. Gravity starts pushing her down, and the jump is just a bit too small to get the rotation in. The number's not only going to decide what happens at Grand Prix Japan, but maybe heading to the Grand Prix final as well. Needs a podium finish. 133.80 just, well, hasn't realized it yet. Really taking it in. The serious look on her face. The total score is 198.00. And now, secure in the fact with a score of 198 that she will be one of those heading to the Grand Prix Final in Marseille.